So Josh, explain who you are and where you're from. Uh, I'm Josh Brennan, I'm from North London and uh, yeah, I sing. <laughs> Is that sing us? Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm a singer from North London and um, yeah, just uh, you know, started up with a few YouTube videos and stuff like that and you know, just started to pick up and stuff. Like, I haven't done any of the uh, reality TV or anything like that. Just pure YouTube and yeah. So, when did you start gaining fans? And Right, well, um, in 2011 I put up my first video on YouTube, which isn't there now anymore, because uh, I was told to take it down, but um, it was hard to take a life, and, you know, I put it on YouTube, and I never put anything on YouTube, and straight away it hit like 4,000 views, and I was just like, you know, this is really, you know, something here, and, you know, I set up a Twitter account, and I started getting more people, you know, watch the video, watch the video, because I'll put the link in the description, and, you know, start slowly building a little fan base. Uh, didn't think much of it, and it just gradually just got bigger and bigger. So, do you have a name for your fans? Well, <laughs> they they call themselves uh, <laughs> they call themselves the Bonanzas. Uh, so it's kind of like my second name, uh, and it's kind of like the word Bonanza, which is quite you know funny Bonanzas. So yeah, that's what they call themselves. Um, what is your influence in music? What like who I look up to and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh god. Um. <clears throat> I mean, I'd say there's a few people. Um. I'd say one of my key influences uh, was uh, James Morrison. Um. Absolutely love what he does. And I've got different styles with him, but the, the way he puts passion in his heart into 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 his voice, and you can hear it. Uh, James Morrison is huge for me. Um. Also, I really like Justin Bieber. I've been a lot of speculation and news about him recently, but. You know, as as an artist and as the way you know he sort of um, you know the way he performs, the way he he sings, I, I really really like him. Um, and um, oh God, there's so many, there's so many, and you know. So I was just said there was one just to be ready. Two men. Yeah, I'd say yeah, probably James Morrison. Yeah, uh, and um, and also Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars the legend. So would you say? You get noticed in the public, or can you just blend in without without seeing that many people around? Right? It depends where I am. I mean, like, I yeah. have noticed. But when you were around me, somebody probably did come over. Yeah, people people came over to me. Because I know some quite big fans of your fans. Yeah, 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 they sort of ran up to me. Uh, you know, um, walking around in London. I mean, there's loads and loads of people in London, but I've got a pretty big fans in London. I've I've been noticed on the tube. Uh, been noticed in town. I mean, I went to Leicester Square once, uh, and there was a meet and greet. Loads and loads of artists were there, and me and my mate Joe Neil, uh, I think you're in a bit. Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> arrived like a bit early, and uh, we just got swamped, and it was ridiculous. But no, like it's it's cool. But um, you know, I wouldn't say I get noticed everywhere I go. Uh, luckily, but um, there are there are a few you know a few moments where I'm just get. Um. So let's go on to some fun questions that I've talked about by the way. Um, Amy Mac Phillips asks, how much do you love your Scouse fans and the group of this? I love my Scouse fans very much. Uh, I love all my fans, a lot more, but um, they got mid as they did, so uh, uh, no, I really like them. Um, you know, I love all my fans, and you know, the Scouse fans have been a deep strength of the fan base since uh, Um, so, Sir Billings asks, if you could collab with any music artist, who would be a why? And I'd probably guess that would be Jamie Morris. Yeah, I would. Uh, it would be Jamie Morris. I'd love to do a collaboration with him. What person I'd actually really like to do a collaboration with him? Which I've always said is Conor Maynard. I'd love to work with Conor Maynard. He seems like a really cool guy. He's really sort of twisty spots in the music. He's really, really cool. But that's because he's more my style. Whereas, you know, if I could do a little music set with Jamie Morris, maybe that's what um, she asked a single question, but we've already got answered that. So we'll put the first one first up. How old were you when you put the cover on YouTube? My first cover? Yeah. Oh, it's about 11. Right. This is where my dyslexia kills me. Right, I was uh, I'm 19 now. It was in 2011, which would have been 11, 12, 13, 14, 3 years ago. So 19, 18, 17, 16. I was just about to turn 17. Alice on me, I'm I might, I might just I'm missing, I'm missing on video, so you can have to like, pet me, so. Alice, um, 
go on that one, we'll, we'll go to that one. It's, it's funny because when I came to Liverpool for like, yeah, the first time, so the first time I was here for like music purposes, I came to see my friend uh, Carl Hughes, who's like a medium in the station. And we, we both had fans that turned up. And uh, Carl was just like, Carl was just like, leaving the station, like, being part of the car, just shouts, yeah, let's go to Nando's. So we all went to Nando's, we did all the fans to Nando's with us, which so maybe, who knows, it'd be great. And um, Chloe asks, when did you first start your music? No, I don't, I'll tell that question as when was the first time you lost in an album? Oh god, I've, I've sung it as long as I can remember, really. Um, the first word? So, <laughs> I wish. Um, literally, uh, you know, I've always been an actor, predominantly. I went to a theatre company called Chicken Shed, which is a really well renowned theatre company growing up. And, you know, acting and singing, you know, uh, I've always been like a huge thing for me. Then I went to musical theatre, I was on the West End as Bugsy Malone, and I played Bugsy. I was really lucky to do that, it was a great experience. Um, so that was sort of um, acting and singing always sort of competing with each other from a very, very young age. But eventually singing just completely took over. So, um, but going back to the question, gone off on a tangent, uh, when, did I, when did I start singing? As far back as I can remember, really. Um, maybe. Primary school, I wouldn't have sung nursery. Primary school, definitely, I reckon. Um, Chloe Payne, I, I, I can never believe that was a real name, to be honest. What was your favourite moment of Soccer 6 Leeds 2014? You know, I'm going to say me, me, I'm going to be so overwhelming when you sort of turn up and there's so many people there to support you. Like, it's absolutely crazy. You don't expect it because, you know, I'm just like Josh from North London. Like, uh, but I turned up and Hundreds of girls, lads, uh, you know, there to see you. Um, and it's really overwhelming. Yeah, it's a great feeling, but I've got lots to say. <laughs> I had two moments I really enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> in scoring, scoring goal, obviously, it's a great feeling. Um, a couple of past uh, Jake Sims, celebrating. Uh, made a crunchy tackle on the like of John James. A bit of a shot of love with Conor Harris in that moment. You know, love Conor, but you know, he caught me as well. So he me into the um, and then also Ryan Harmon just knocked to the ground. I'm not like a physical guy, but when it comes to football, I get really, you know, That's really good. into I'm a huge football fan, a huge Spurs fan. Um, and the last one is from Liv Haywood, and she just basically says, What's the best advice you've been given as a singer? Um, never give up. Never give up. Um, as a singer, you can get a lot of hate and abuse, and it's, it's going to be coming at you all the time. Here's Adam. But, um, here's Adam. Uh, as a singer, you're going to get loads of hate and abuse, and it's coming at you all the time. But, you know, you've just got to not listen to it, and not, not rise to it, and, you know, just don't give up, don't listen to what people... Li take on the comments, and use it to, like, make yourself better, but, you know, the voice is a muscle, and, you know, you train other muscles, you train your bicep, they'll get bigger, you train your abs, you get six pack. Train your voice and it's gonna it's gonna get better. Um, so you know anyone you can sing unless you're absolutely like you know horribly tone deaf, which isn't isn't that you know a lot of people. So just don't give up. And if you want to be a singer, do it. Like, so like um, can we can we expect some singles from you in the future or? Ah oh, god. Um, oh, are you just gonna I have some. I'm I'm looking and this isn't. This isn't so he's looking, don't yeah. just like don't fan go over it, but yeah. well, yes, the idea is that. To release an EP at some point, when I get a chance to get into the studio, uh, you know, I'm going to do a few few gigs, um, but um, if you, you fancy the exclusive, don't you? Yeah. Um, me and Joseph Neal, um, we don't have the dates confirmed, I'm going to be doing a tour, um, we're going to be doing Newcastle, Manchester and London, just three dates. But you know, if you're from Liverpool, you come to Manchester, and North East, you go up to Newcastle, anywhere else, just go to London. Um, <laughs> and um, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try to get that sorted ourselves, and you know, hopefully that'll be sort of September all this time. Um, that's oh, that's <laughs> um, so obviously, this this idea of an EP, we obviously want some sorts of finals. So. But I've got a brief comment. Shall we let the fans try and decide on the title? Yeah, that's a good idea actually. 
I'm making comments I mean, about the bottle. One, one thing I had in mind, and you tell me you like it, it's all about feelings, and uh, a lot of it's about love and all stuff like that. So, so I'm, I've been heard of Sam Smith's new album. Yes. That yes. is an incredible album. Unbelievable. Isn't it? Like, even though, even though he's, in interviews he said he's never been in a relationship, but he's. Well, yeah, I mean, you can sort of relate to it. I mean, Sam Smith. I mean, no one puts it better than you feel so against it. Yeah. But um, you know, the, oh god, the the the. That's what the world is off now, man. It is. <laughs> um, you know, I, I was I was in a relationship and it didn't end brilliantly. It was kind of an unorthodox kind of relationship, and uh, it, it went very wrong. And uh, I was gonna name the uh, the EP something like uh, about a girl or please relate or something along the lines of that. But maybe what we could do, maybe after maybe we could uh, come up with um, a few names to make a little poll. Yeah. Um, so obviously, so I, I was asked. I was asked for this outside. Um, what are the girls outside that I got in a relationship? Uh, <laughs> um, I I like to keep my private life like sort of out of it. Um, but um. You don't have to say the girl wants to say. It's it's not. Like, in a relationship or take it or, or, or whatever. Um, I'm um I just like to keep it private because once you know and that includes friendships and anything because it's sort of once it gets out there it can ruin it that's part of the ruin of the last sort of relationship but don't think I'm in a relationship because I'm not okay uh well, I might be I'm not, I'm not saying anything but um, <laughs> you, you, you just want to keep I don't think more elements of your life right yeah, because, it's, it's because nice. obviously when when you're a singer, you know, you, 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 your social media is quite dominant for fans and yes. oh, if you put one thing out there and others, it's like people start to put pictures and yeah. go a bit old to see what it's like. So it's and you know, in the, in the end of the day, a lot of what I do is, you know, out there, you know, I've got my Twitter and all that and my whole life is, you know, out there for you to see, but there are just certain things I like to sort of keep to myself and, you know, if, if I was one day to, you know, get into a relationship, if I'm comfortable, you know, I'd like to sort of announce it or make it in, like, public like that, you know, you'll know about it, so don't worry about it until you find out. So, thanks for being in conversation with um, It's been a pleasure, and I'm sure your fans will like your music and yes, your tour. So, look, and those guys, and those guys, and those Yeah, good song. And maybe we might, I might try and black it off. But that's all down to you guys. If you all want to follow Josh on Twitter, I can follow me. Follow us both. All of us. And we will see you very soon. Goodbye.